So back again with another on the rail video. This time I thought I would show you some spring key pieces that I think fit the trends at the moment and things that I'm definitely going to be wearing a lot through the season. Before I get any questions in the comments, my top is from Mink Pink and it's very summery which I thought was very appropriate for the video because I'm sick of wearing jumpers at the minute and I just wanted to wear something that's a bit more la -di da So that's why I'm wearing this. So I can do a bit of this. This is actually my first video of spring, now spring is officially here and I can't wait to share with you some of these pieces. I've gone through my whole wardrobe and found pieces that I already own that I could style up for the spring because I want to show you that it is possible to wear the trends without going out and buying loads of new stuff every season because four times a year to have to buy a whole new wardrobe is great but it's not quite so great when it's your bank balance and you're a student. So you will have actually seen some of these pieces before. Starting off I'm just going to share a bag with you. I've never actually really included a bag in an on the rail video but I thought that because because this is quite a cute bag and it's really appropriate to the trends at the moment that I would share it with you anyway. So this bag is actually from La Moda and it's a really nice nude colour and I just love the kind of patent oversized boxy look of it. I think it's definitely going to get a lot of use in the spring and it's just a really cute bag that I've actually had for quite a while now and I've got quite a bit of use out of so it's definitely going to keep reappearing. And bags of this kind are just so much easier for carrying things around, especially if you're going to London or anything, because you can just chuck it over both shoulders, it keeps the weight even, and it's not too big either so you don't over cram it. It just fits all my essentials in, like my camera and stuff, so really, really useful to have. Next piece we have is just the classic shift dress. I'm actually a bit of a fan of ones with collars at the moment, you've probably seen my black one 101 times from Zara, but this one's actually from Georgia Asda and it's really, really inexpensive. It's got a really classic shift shape and I'm obsessed with it. It's just a really easy style to wear. It's really nice to have something in your wardrobe that's nice and plain that you can style up or down. It's just that kind of staple piece that you can wear season after season and it's just really flattering on. Then we have some stripes. Now stripes are always big, they're kind of something that never really goes out of fashion but I am obsessed with stripes at the minute and in particular these trousers. The trousers are from Primark. They do still have the tag attached because I've only worn them for a lookbook shoot so far which was filmed last week and they're just really, really comfortable. I think these would be perfect with just a pair of heels and a slouchy jumper or even just with some Converse or something. I just really like them. They're just a really loose, casual, tailored trouser. So quite nice for just styling up or down. And eight pounds from Primark is kind of a really reasonable price. If you didn't see my Primark haul, I'll leave it linked down below so you can check it out because I actually got some in another color as well. So the next thing is kind of summery and kind of could be worn in the spring but maybe more towards the end of spring or if I'm going on a night out or just really wanted to dress up a little bit more and it's just this really cute white play suit from Mink Pink. So this is actually the exact same style as the one I've got on and the whole middle piece has an underlayer so you keep your modesty but it's got the bell sleeves as well and a tiny slight high neck which is really cute. I'm obsessed with this kind of like open lacy look at the moment. I just think it looks really flattering and especially when there's bell sleeves because it's kind of like that festival style that we're getting into now that spring started. I know it's kind of soon to be talking about festivals because that's more towards like May time but I'm just really excited to be wearing things for spring. Then I thought I'd share a piece which I've actually been wearing for the last couple of seasons but it's kind of stayed throughout and I think it's something that's probably going to stay for a few more seasons yet because it's one of those styles that's kind of timeless, kind of 90s and we're all just in love with it at the moment and it's just the dungarees and pinafore trend which this is actually a really simple fitted dungaree dress. It's just really simple and easy to wear and you can't really go wrong with a black dungaree set because you can literally put anything underneath and I quite like that this is really easy to style for warm or cold days because a pair of tights or a long sleeve roll neck just make it a bit more warm and then obviously you could wear like a crop or a short sleeve just to make it a bit cooler and it's just so so easy to style. If you don't have one of these I'd really recommend you get one because I get so much more out of my dungarees and dungaree dresses that I really think I'd probably buy a few more and still see them as an investment. Next is arguably the most obvious spring trend which is Breton stripes. Now I don't think you can actually go into a shop at the moment and not see a Breton stripe because it's just that classic theme that every shop has every spring and we all buy into it because it's just so easy to wear and timeless. Breton stripes will always be a thing and this Jack Wills t-shirt is actually so so comfortable. It's just a simple navy and white stripe which is the classic Breton and it's just so so easy to wear. This can be put with white jeans, black jeans, pretty much anything and it's just literally so easy to wear. I don't know what else to say about a t-shirt. 
This is a really easy way of wearing the spring trends without having to break the bank because I guarantee if you're watching this you've got something striped or Breton striped in your wardrobe at the moment and you can probably wear it up in 101 different ways through this season. The next item has been mentioned a few times on my blog so if you follow me on there you'll have seen this already but it's just the white jeans which are an absolute staple when it comes to spring and summer. I just think with white jeans it's the kind of style that's more appropriate to spring and summer when you wear lighter colours and they're just really easy to wear. I basically replace my black jeans with white jeans in the summer and wear exactly the same tops and stuff but obviously the white jeans are just a little bit more summer appropriate and as well on really hot days which Obviously we're not getting any time soon. If you're anything like me, you will definitely have a pair of high-waisted and low-waisted just in case you decide you want to mix it up a little bit because I definitely have two pairs now and I'm not sorry about that because they are something that I've been wearing a lot already and we're only a few days into the season. The final item is my trench coat which is actually from Asda and only costs £25 so it's definitely a steal if there ever was one. It's just the most simple trench coat, it's really Burberry-esque and it's just so simple to wear. It goes with everything and it's nice because it's that different kind of material and it's so much more lightweight that when it's a little bit warmer outside I can wear this rather than one of my big heavy coats and it just keeps me warm and I just can't fault it, they're such a good investment. I'll never be able to afford a Burberry trench coat in my lifetime so this is kind of the next best thing and having a black one means it just goes with so much more. I do actually have a camel one but I just find that the options are a bit more limited so this is definitely one that I'm going to be keeping around for a long time because it's just so comfortable and easy to wear and you just can't go wrong with £25. It's such an affordable price for a coat especially considering winter coats and stuff normally cost about £50 upwards. So that was my key items for the spring. I really hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and leave me a comment saying your favourite piece for the spring. Kind of a more affordable option for spring because most of these pieces you probably already do own and it's just a really easy way of upgrading your wardrobe for the season rather than buying into a whole load of new pieces. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.